everyone, Moto Tigers here with another helmet review. Can you believe it? Now, I want to give all of my attention in this video to this helmet. We're going to be doing a couple of other comparison reviews where I'll do a deep dive comparing helmets. After I have a little more time in this helmet and the Scorpion, uh, I want to do a head-to-head -head battle with those two in particular. But today, it's all about this beauty in front of me, which you already know is the Arai Corsair X in the Nakagami 3 graphic. This has got to be one of the coolest looking helmets I've ever seen. I watched Revzilla for months waiting for one of these bad boys to come in and I had my notification set and it just wasn't happening. So I ended up driving about an hour to another shop and they were able to get their hands on one straight from the distributor. So here I am with my beautiful new Nakagami 3 and it is just stunning. I cannot get over looking at this helmet. It's kind of having like a little work of art in your house. So let's talk about it. So obviously this is the best looking helmet on the market in my humble opinion. When you see the photos of this online, you're going to be impressed by the really cool graphic scheme. But what you can't see is that the paint is actually sparkly. It's very subtle, but once you get out in the sunlight, this helmet really pops. So if you're looking to turn heads on the street, this is a really great way to do it. And I tell you what, every stop I come to, I feel like everybody is looking at this helmet. I get stopped all the time by other riders to say, man, that is one cool looking helmet. And shout out to representing Taka Nakagami. He's one of the more down to earth racers, I think. So happy to represent his helmet. I'll also include a link below of Taka Nakagami himself talking about this helmet. Uh, I think that's kind of fun where he describes kind of how the graphic was designed. And so go check that out as well. So yeah, we've said just about all there is to say about how absolutely stunning and beautiful this helmet is. I don't need to do a lot of close-up shots. There's already a lot of other companies who've uploaded those videos for you, but here it is nonetheless in real life. So the Corsair X is still a fairly lightweight helmet. It's not quite as lightweight as some of the other helmets are that I've talked about on this channel. However, I think that the CG on this helmet is really well designed. It feels really balanced. So when you're wearing it, you do get the sensation of it being a lightweight helmet, even though there may be some other helmets on the market that edge it out when you put it on the scales. As far as comfort goes, this thing is amazing. I put it on and it just immediately felt like my head was at home in this thing. I don't really know how else to describe it other than it just feels right when you put it on. It is a super, super comfortable helmet and I cannot imagine anybody would be disappointed in how this feels on their head. The padding on this helmet is actually very good. But I will say it was not my favorite thing to install after I had removed it. It's easy to remove, but uh, they have kind of a different scheme than some of the other helmets I'm used to. So for example, the cheek pads don't actually have snaps that snap it into the side of the helmet. Instead, it is held in place by the chin strap, which goes through the middle of the pad. And then there's also a little piece on the back of the pad that kind of locks it into the rear portion. As a whole, the padding is a very clean installation. Everything looks really good. It's very slick. Once you get all of the little bits and pieces locked in, you're not going to have your pads moving around as you remove the helmet or anything like that. And I think honestly, my biggest gripe on the pads was just the Senna install. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt because the speakers don't have dedicated locations in the helmet. Instead, the speakers actually go into the pads themselves. So you will peel back the covering on this pad, um, tear out a small strip of foam, which is dedicated for the speaker, in the speaker goes, and then you kind of put the fabric back over it. So the wiring for your comms will kind of run out whatever space is available after you put the fabric back over the pad. Not a big deal, but it's just maybe an extra minute or two when you're doing your full comms installation to get all of the wiring routed and get everything situated so that you don't actually have to feel any wires when you're wearing the helmet. But not a big deal. Definitely not a deal breaker on this caliber helmet. I also found the pads to be appropriately dense. You know you're not going to have any issues with these things deflating anytime soon. Even better, Arai is also one of the companies offering kind of the out-of-the-box bespoke fit with their pads. So when you peel back that 
cover on the pads, you can actually tear away little strips of foam to get the perfect adjustment for your cheeks. For myself, I didn't have any issues, fit great right out of the box. Since we mentioned the Senna, obviously no issues installing it on this helmet. The outside of this helmet is perfectly suited for your Senna, so no issues there. And again, very clean installation, no wires or anything like that hanging out. Let's talk about hot weather comfort in this helmet. Spoiler alert, it's amazing. So there's a ton of vents on this thing, and not only do you have a ton of vents, but you can really adjust how much air you're flowing. All of these vents have multiple detent locations, so you can really hone in on exactly how much air you want flowing through each one of these points. We also have a front vent with two different openings. One will port most of the air towards the rider, and the other one will direct it more towards the shield. One of the more interesting vent features that I didn't know whether or not I would like are these little tiny vents that are built right into the shield. They allow air to be directed basically directly onto your forehead or brow area. And I gotta say, it is extremely refreshing when you open those things uh, if you weren't already getting enough air. But I gotta tell you, you know, for the most part, just having the normal vents open, you're gonna get so much air in this thing you're gonna stay very, very cool. This helmet is controlling air very well and you don't get a lot of seepage, which does mean you're pretty warm when you come to a stop in this helmet. But all you have to do is crack open that shield, absolutely no problem getting cool again. Since we're on the topic of vents, let's talk about wind noise. This is a really quiet helmet as far as ambient wind noise goes. Out on the highway, I consider it to be pretty quiet. I could hear the exhaust on my bike, I could hear my music. The only quibble that I have that is wind noise related is that these two side vents will pick up a very slight whistle when you're turning your head, but it's only at a specific point. So when you're doing those over the shoulder checks and you're moving your head, you're not getting a whistle the entire time that you're kind of off center. There's only one moment, maybe 30 degrees off center that you get a slight whistle, but as soon as you move through that, the whistle is gone. So something to note, but I don't think it was much of an impact to rider comfort or experience at all. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do a deeper dive comparing this helmet to the Scorpion and some other helmets, but for this video, what I will say is the noise on this helmet and the Scorpion are about the same. The visor on this helmet is also excellent super dark, you're not gonna be squinting in this thing, and it has a very, very secure mechanism. So we have the typical left-hand side mechanism to open this visor, and essentially what you need to do to open this visor, which wasn't initially clear to me, is lift the lever, but also pull forward, and it'll pop right up, no big deal. But when you first get into the helmet, if you just start flipping up the latch and you don't actually kind of pull on that visor, it won't open. But I really like this mechanism. I think this is my favorite mechanism that I've seen on a helmet to date. The field of view is really great on this visor as well. The only thing I will note is that those brow vents are actually visible when you're riding, and I did notice them, and maybe I just don't have enough time in the helmet, but I haven't actually filtered that out in my field of view yet. My brain hasn't deleted that yet, so I do notice them. It's not really distracting, but it's something that you have to consider when you start adding vents onto the shield. The shield mechanism is also a point of debate for a lot of people with these Arai helmets. I think these are great. I had absolutely no issue installing the shields on these. The covers are captured. There's a little cable that holds it in place, so you're not gonna lose the cover when you take it off. Honestly, pretty slick mechanism. I'm not really sure where all of the complaints come from with that, but I do recognize that that is something that people don't like about the Arai helmet. It just wasn't an issue for me. Also, don't forget, on the back of the Corsair X, we do have the adjustable spoiler. I haven't actually messed with this much. I did lift it to another position just to see if I thought it made a difference, but I didn't notice much of a difference, but maybe a more experienced rider would. Regardless of the position of the spoiler, this helmet is rock steady out on the highway. Absolutely love how stable this helmet is at speed. This is, after all, a race-ready helmet, and you can definitely tell in its performance. 
So overall, I've been riding this helmet for about two weeks and I absolutely love it. If you see one of these in your local store or you catch them on Revzilla, just go ahead and spring for it. You're not gonna regret buying this helmet. It just looks so awesome and it performs awesome too. So that's all I have for the Arai Corsair X. I'm going to ride this helmet and the Scorpion for another few hundred miles, do an in-depth comparison of those two helmets because I think it will actually be a very interesting comparison for you all. You guys just keep suggesting more and more gear that you want me to review, so maybe I'll start a Patreon if you guys are interested and I'll let you guys buy the gear that you want me to review or something like that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll kick it around. If you like what you see, Go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on the alerts so you don't miss any future videos. I have to say that, of course, because we're on YouTube after all. But I hope you all are having a good time out there on your bikes and ride safe.